Okay, the Run at Query button brings up a screen much like the PHP MyAdmin SQL tab. Uh, it's got a big area for you to type in your query and some helper controls over here. Uh, this first control lets you paste in the names of the field into your query pretty easily. Uh, so if I went over here and typed in select, I could then pick a few fields and I could copy them in. It's going to say, do you want to prepend the table name to the fields? I'd say OK, and you see you get accounts ID, accounts billing, so that I could do a complex join if I wanted to. Um, if I type in from accounts where, and then I go over here and I say I just want deleted, copy that in. You see it noticed that the caret was after the where, and it puts in a where clause instead of just a field name. Uh, so here I could just type in zero and be done with it. It would take 10 seconds. Um, another thing you can do is you've got a row of buttons here. So if I select ID, the billing information, assigned user ID, deleted, and name, and I hit select, it's going to build me a nice little select statement, or it will build me a nice little update statement. So you've got set ID value, assigned value, It'll build me an insert statement. And you notice that it automatically puts in a new ID for you. That's a unique ID. Um, so you don't have to make one up. Of course, you could replace it if you wanted to. It'll also build you a simple delete template. So let's go to the select and we'll pick out 25 records. And you'll notice that it prettifies your uh, query, so it's a little easier to read. Um, anything that's an ID to another module is, is automatically turned into a link. So it knows if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see this is already noticed it's an account. Uh, detail view, so this is a user detail view. So if I clicked on this, it's going to bring up the airline maintenance company detail view page for that record. Um, so it'll do that for any any ID that it can recognize as a relationship and it uses Sugar's relationship data to figure out which two modules get fitted together and um, you know, how it's going to find that uh, other page. Over here we have an edit and a delete control for each record. So if we just hit edit, it's going to bring up the editor in my system, not the edit view in Sugar. So there we are. Now we can edit any field we want. Um, every text field, any varchar field, if you will, is AJAX enabled. So if I go to city and I type C, it's going to go back out to the database and pull up all of the cities that have C in it, and I can change it to Cupertino with just a click. All the text fields are that, are that way. You can type whatever you want, even if it's not in the database, but it brings up all the database values for you if you want to pick one of those. You'll also notice that anything that's a drop-down in sugar is a drop-down here, so you don't have to remember the values. If it's a multi-enum, it's rendered as a multi-enum here, and you're able to select multiple values. If it's a user ID, it pulls up your user IDs, so you don't have to remember those. Um, things like you know, the booleans, it automatically knows that that's a one or a zero. Um, and on this page, if I go ahead and submit this now, it's going to run the update on this particular record, and it's going to show the only thing I changed was Cupertino, so it didn't bother to update the rest of the fields. It only updated the one field that I did change. Um, if I hit Edit Query, I can go in and you know do something else with that query, whatever I wanted to. That's about it for Run a Query.